Hello. Hello there, everyone. This is Nega Knight here, getting ready to play Scum. And today, we're going to be playing around with my new toy that I got in my last episode, which is, well, this thing here. But in order to do that... Oop. Hold on. In order to do that, I want to build a, some things on top of that. While I was getting ready to leave that place and come back home, I found an HS9. And then when I got home and checked around my place, I found a couple of gasoline containers. The only thing I'm missing now is, for this rain catcher is two metal pipes and a hose. If I can find that, I can make myself an, a rain catcher or a rain co collector and the more means of water I can get the better what I'm really hoping for is to get a drill because at some point I would like to be able to make things like maybe this which will take a bench wait what oh that's not the type of Alright, well, it looks like this is the one I would have to use, and that uses lead plates. Not sure where to get lead plates that often, so I probably won't be using this too much. Alright, well, let's get into doing some of the stuff I wanted to do, which was using the toy. Most of you probably already left, which is fine. I mean, I was busy talking and examining and all that fun stuff, but here we are, uh, building. I'm going to make a large target, a medium target, and a small target, and I'm going to test out some things to see what they are, what they do. Oop. We got to get out of here. Make sure to put that away because one thing I've discovered in the process is that uh, it, I cannot reload that very, very fast, like at all. The, the reason why I'm testing this out is because oops, is because I'm wanting to test out if this will actually allow me to raise my skill because if I can raise my skill then that means I can use this at home when it's safe all right oops not that so what we need planks we need nails we need rags and a bunch of other stuff, small log, metal, nails, and all that. Okay, so we have most of everything there. Also, I think because it's been the third day or so since I've been playing, in other words, third game day, I'm actually starting to get loot. On top of that, the blue wells have started to fill up. So that means I now have more means, and this is almost full. So I gotta figure out how to actually do that. And I think another episode, I'm gonna be upgrading and finishing up this place. I've gotta figure out where the these uh, corner pieces here are. I gotta figure out where the caps are. In other words, the ones that go up and down like this, instead of putting a flat roof. So I gotta figure out at least one... Two, two more pieces at least where they're at. Three, depending on uh, if they have a left and a right here. Alright, inventory. We're going to need at least one, two, three. Some nails. One thing that's nice about these is you can actually make one rock allows you to craft six heads. And six heads allows you to craft... Uh, six bolts if you combine them with the bolts uh, the sticks and all that so we got the nails we got that we need these I don't know how many 
We're going to need some planks. I don't know if I've got planks in here or in here. Yes, we've got some planks in here. We'll put that right there. I think I only need one. And I did not realize how late it was getting. All right. Perfect. One, two, three, three planks. Perfect. That's three planks right here. There's that one. There's that one. Now we just need, I believe, a small log for that one. Crafting. Building. And where the hell? Here. Yeah, small log. Okay. I could probably cut this down. Nope. I just saw a message. At some point, I need to go check out one of these, but I don't have a crowbar. I tried using a whatever you call it and a, a pit, a whatever it's called, uh, lock picks, and they didn't work. I don't need this one. Oh, we're one nail short. Oh. Okay, well, let's go grab that nail. And after that, I gotta figure out how to wash clothes. Oh, and I also, I forgot to mention this, but I ended up discovering a fishing rod, too. And I also have a fishing reel. And uh, if I remember correctly, I have... One one suggestion that I would like is a s sort button with an auto stack. So I could press, let's say, sort right here. And it would sort all of this into organization. And it would stack anything that could be stacked. Like this bolt here. Those bolts here. Um, what else could stack that? Uh, these bolts? In other words, it stacks everything on... Anyways, let's get the nail. And let's make some more uh, bolts in the process too. But first, I do not like that the little... I don't know if that gave me anything... I do not like the little t dot going away. I wish there was an easy that the aiming was easier, and maybe it will. We got fifteen percent for that. That's four hundred HP. And as you can see here, I struggle like hell to get this loaded. So. If this does what I think it does, it ain't the center of your screen is where this targets. The problem is, is I can't tell where exactly the center is. 16 for shooting. And nothing for reload. Seventeen for shooting. So, if you want to train your skills safely, this is the way to do it. In other words, you build yourself a shooting target, and you simply shoot. Oh, I think if I hit the, so does that mean hitting different targets will give me a uh, different amount of XP? So, does that mean if I can hit this small one center bullseye, and does distance play a role, or does it just simply mean shooting it? That was 19, so it looks like it may not be 
size of the target, but oops. It may be the accuracy. Oh, I notched it. Okay. Oh yeah. 20%. You get points for reloading. So I'm assuming if I get this up to basic, I'll be able to reload this faster and less struggle. Ooh, bullseye. 21. All right. <laughs> I love watching me struggle like that. I will say when you're in first person shooting another enemy and or a zombie and all of a sudden you see this hand and coming in front of your screen just I, I, I tried to point out and show it to you guys but it's like it's like the seeing this corner come at you like this all of a sudden whap that's surprising as hell all right inventory we need to craft more of these and I also need to drink some water. Drink. The question is how much will I drink? And will it be enough? Alright, well. I'm glad I've got that. I... It's so hard playing in first person. All right. Where are they at? Inventory. We need the bolts. Here we are. Actually, let's take those and put these and then we can cut in the small sticks. Oh yeah, we need to grab feathers. Oops. All right, feathers, feather, feathers, feathers. Where are you? Ah, here we are. All right, craft time. Where did he did he? Tell you the truth, it might be more efficient and better to train using the crossbow because the ammo is easier, cheaper to make. At least in my opinion. And you can also retrieve it while the guns you can't. And they do a decent amount of damage to the enemies anyways. I feel like I've got done more than four... How? Oh, okay. I, I'm not sure if it's more efficient to make metal or if it's more efficient to make stone. Because when I look at it, uh, metal tips, you need an improvised toolbox and screws, metal scrap. But in order to make an improvised toolbox, you need two scraps, two planks, nails, a bolt, and some kind of blunt object. Which I need to find. Uh, what is it? Where'd they go? I need to find some metal uh, pipes. And a hose. Because I really want that rain catcher. But this is why I'm like. Is it really worth it? But then if you look at the how many times you can use it. It might be more wor worth it than to actually make the stone. Because stone requires a blunt object and a rock. And depending on what the blunt object is, you may wear out faster. So I'm not 100% sure what's the most optimal me means and methods to do some of this stuff. But now that we've got nine of those, we can actually play around a bit more. I would 
but there are some improvements that I would like to see. One is that dot doesn't go away when you're aiming. Otherwise, it becomes really hard uh, to shoot, and that's just like stupid as hell. And another, yeah, look at that. The center of my screen and is like right here, and I'm having a hard time hitting because I'm not used to this type of setup. Woo, I'm way off on that one. It might be easier to shoot first person. A little low there. All right, well, this is definitely one of the best ways to train. Or not the best because you get a small amount of XP, but it's safe. On top of that, you can pretty much guarantee to get all your items back. Ooh, 28%. And reloading does give XP. It just... Not a whole lot. 10 XP. Woo! This is such an amazing number. Shooting seems to give the most XP, and shooting enemies give even more, but at the same time, it's exceptionally dangerous. Thirty-one. Alright, well, I'm at this rate, I'm just kind of screwing around. My main goal was to play with this, to get some ammo, to test out some stuff, figure out how to shoot, and all that fun stuff, and all that. So if you guys enjoyed listening to me, and seeing me build up uh, and play with this, hopefully you come back for more, You and you liked the video. If not, I understand. It wasn't much, it wasn't very much exciting. It was just an improvement episode. So anyways, if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After about two or so weeks, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand though, I'll remove you off. Because it's for people who gave me a chance. If you want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the end screen credits. And if you want to see other games I play, make sure to check out my channel. For now, I'm going to continue playing around with this, and I finally got a bullseye. Sweet. Alright. Notch that. Grab all these back. And there we go. Now we can practice some more. And I might end up getting this ranked up by next episode and see how much of an improvement that is. Anyways, bye-bye.